dear friends and haters, it's Kiralis and welcome back everybody to the second episode in how to build a British house. I'm still not sure the terminology is correct, British house. I don't know. Hey, this is how I see him, so just let it be, alright? In the first episode, we built the foundation and we built the front of the house. So in this episode, I'm gonna continue back here. We know how the room are gonna be divided, so we're gonna rise up some flooring and some interior walls on the first floor. We're gonna do the exterior wall and then continue on the second floor, because I think this is gonna be the easiest way to go. First thing we're gonna do is place some floors, and this is all in the eye of the beholder. I'm gonna be using a lot of spruce awuda, but if you wanna use something else, please feel free to do so. And if you are a true Brit, you should just put carpets all over the place because you're a little cray cray. <laughs> I love it though. So we're gonna start here in the living room. And as I said, spruce awuda. So let's just fill this space in with spruce wood. And I'm gonna be using rollated because it's more convenient and we can cover more ground. So this room is gonna be spruce wood, all right? Bam. The same goes for this room here, which is gonna be the kitchen. And I haven't really been in many of those type of houses, but in those, those ones I've been in, they mostly look like this. You come in in a hallway, you have a little formal living room, you have a kitchen, you have a little half bath for the guests and whatnot, and then upstairs you usually have like a few bedrooms and a family bathroom or something, alright? So spruce awuda, spruce awuda. This is gonna be the toilet, so here we're gonna use the chisel quartz block. And this looks something like this, not sure you can see it, but it's kinda like a little cool bathroom pattern or whatnot. So let's place that here in that room, and let's continue here in the hallway. Everybody, you guessed it. Sprusa Wuda coming at ya. Bam! So this is for the downstairs, what goes for flooring. In the garage here, we're just gonna use some stone. Very simple, but it's still gonna look pretty, pretty neat. So let's do this and place stone all over the place here. The only thing I'm gonna tweak on this house, what goes for the room dividers, is this here. In the previous episode, we built a path here which is gonna be free in wood. I'm gonna actually do this instead. And the same on this side. So this will now only be two in width. From above, it looks like this. So now we have the floors in place. Next step is, everywhere you see blue wall here, that represents a doorway or a passage or whatnot. We're gonna remove this and replace this with dark oak wood. That's what I'm using. If you wanna use glowstone or whatnot or diamond blocks, please go ahead and do so, all right? But I'm gonna do something like that. From above, we should be having this shape going. Next thing up is to start placing the interior walls downstairs. And I'm gonna start here right in the middle. This is the supportive wall of the whole structure, and it's also the wall which divides the two houses, all right? And there's different ways to go about it. We can use a chacha wood, for example, like this, and then just pick the block of choice and do something like this. I love this design, but I'm gonna go with just white wool. Don't hate me, it's gonna look quite awesome anyhow. So, one, two, three, four, and five in total. We know that the floor elevation is coming about here. It's gonna be kinda colliding with that, but don't worry, because this is gonna be going all the way up in a later stage. So we got one, two, three, four, and five in total, and just to save some time, I'm gonna be using some wool edit. I'm sorry, everybody. Bam. And then, bam. We got a wall. Let's continue over here. One, two, three, four, and five. And let's do every single wall here downstairs five blocks in height. I know it's gonna look dirt on upstairs, but then we know where the wall from the down part of the house are coming up in the upper part of the house, if you know what I mean. Here, we're gonna do something different. In this doorway, on the third block, on the top part, add dark oak slabs, for example. And then above that, just cover this up with some wool. Perfect. And let's go counting. One, two, three, four, and five. 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 <laughs> I love it. Counting with Kerala should this series be called. And see, this is why the foundation part is so crucial because now we know where every single wall is coming, so this makes it very, very easy. Bam. One, two, three, four, and five. This is gonna be the outer wall, so I'm gonna not touch that at this point. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. And the same goes for this. One, two, three, four, and five. One, <laughs> we'll let it save some time. 
BAM! Then we get from above something which looks like this. We're also gonna start doing the same shape here. We're gonna pick those dark oak slabs and on the third block on the upper part, let's just add a layer. So this is gonna be a little pathway from the living room into the kitchen area. On the third block, on the top part here and then just cover this up with some white wool bam what goes for the bathroom here we're gonna do something different maybe just for some privacy we're gonna add a dark oak and then maybe just two blocks of wool above that just for now we can always tweak that in a later stage here the same thing on the third block on the upper part slab and two blocks above that so from above you should be having this shape going and why we removed the blue block here in the beginning of the video is just to give this a little nice shape. Then we got one block on this side, one block on this side. And it kind of looks symmetrical and pretty. I love it. So that was the reason in the beginning of the video. Then it is time to move on to a staircase. I've been in some of those British houses those little like suburban houses and whatnot and they're really like really tiny here when it comes to like the hallway there's like the hallway is kind of like a non-existent usually we just have a staircase a little hallway leading to something else it's really dark and scary i guess but we're gonna place a staircase we're gonna place it on this wall facing the neighboring house over here so we're gonna count from this main wall one two three and on the fourth one we're gonna start a staircase all right so one two three four and five in total like that so five stairs in total in height next to that we're gonna place white wool white wool white wool and white wool four in total all right above the white wool we're gonna add some anvils three in total looking like that at this point on the back here just to kind of like purify it a little bit more we're gonna add upstairs upside down stairs all the way to about here and that's about it for now. Could also add them here if wanted, if you want to have this shape going. It's all up to you. I kind of like the little, like, this shape going. It kind of gives us more feel for the whole place. So we got a little staircase. And since we know that the next elevation is going to be coming here, that's going to look kind of, kind of good with it anyhow. You got it? Hopefully you do. Okay. So now we have two staircases, one in each house. And then, no and then, and then, no and then. We know that this brick wall here on the exterior is going five blocks in total from the foundation. And it's gonna be going the same way all the way around. So I'm gonna be a bit of a rebel. I'm gonna mark this position, which is one, two, three, four, and five blocks in height from the, from the main foundation. And I'm gonna take it all the way in here. And don't worry. We're gonna work it out because we know there's gonna be a door entrance here from the kitchen into the garage right so let's remove one two and three blocks remove this replace that with sprucea wooda from the inside here i want this door to be open from this side in i'm gonna mark this out with a dark oak like that and on this side i'm just gonna do a little derpy staircase going down to the gar garage like that Perfect. We know that the garage wall is going to be going in this fashion by four blocks in total in height from the foundation itself. And we're going to have a window on this wall. So if we count those blocks here now, one, two, three, four, and five, which means the centerpiece, <laughs> never be the centerpiece, that sucks. The middle piece, not the middle piece, the middle is here. So let's carve that out and let's place a window here. Down here, I'm gonna be using some coarse stairs in this manner. Up here, I'm gonna be using brick stairs placed normally. In between those, we're gonna stick in some window penises, three in height in total. So you should be having this shape going here. And just to make this easy for us in a later stage, let's figure out some window placements on the upper part of the house, all right? And we're gonna start here, just above the doorway, remove one block and place a brick stair. Jump away, one, two, three, and four. And on the fourth one, demolish two and place two brick stairs like this. There are three blocks in between the windows here and they're both one block away from the main wall divider down here, all right? Looks something like this. Then, let's move on to this side. Let's start placing some more walls. So one, two, three, four, and five. And there's gonna be a window here. So if you see here, we got two blocks here. Let's make this window symmetrical. So we got two blocks 
and there's gonna be a double window all right so take up this pillar by five blocks in total place upside down court stairs on the top normal brick stairs like this and in between just throw in some window penises and everybody's happy now we should be having this shape here we're gonna have a door entrance it's marked out already all right and this is gonna be pretty symmetrical to the front which we had so stone bricks and here we're just gonna do something like this we could have a little roofing here but we're not gonna have all right so one two three four five this is gonna be a doorway so let's place an upside down courser maybe a window penis and then close that off so that is the back side of the kitchen one window two windows and a doorway here is gonna be a bathroom all right so one two three four and five one two three four and five one two three four and five and this is the middle of the house all right so one two three four and five what goes for the window here is gonna be basically the same looking upside down court stair on the top normal brick stair like this in between here though just because we want some privacy when we're taking our imaginary dumps in a minecraft house we're just gonna place some stained window penises and on top maybe just a normal one looking like this all for the privacy all right so you should be having this shape now what goes for the car garage this is gonna be derp simple you know what let's just fill in all the space here with bricks all right so we got four bricks in total and one foundation block the same goes for this wall we know there's gonna be a door but we can always carve that out because we got the red blocks so we know where it's gonna be here right so remove one two and three like this add maybe a brick stair in this manner and then we're gonna place a door you know what maybe even upside down or you know what let's do quartz perfect so upside down quartz there and that is gonna be our little garage and since I kind of want the cobblestone here this might be cobblestone as well perfect we can also add a window and if we count this wall one two three four five six and seven to the back part so let's do a window which is one two and three blocks in total like this and this is gonna be a really simple window because it's a car garage perfect and now this shape with the upside down coursers will go all the way around the structure uh -oh. curve here and all the way into the wall perfect the same will go with the roofing it's gonna be a flat roof so this is gonna be done off camera because I'm gonna save you the pain and agony all right but before we do that on the inside it doesn't really look that hot it kind of looks all right but it doesn't look hot hot so what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna grab the foundation block i'm gonna put it here grab some bricks and take it all the way around here and that's gonna give us a little 3d feeling from the inside kind of like that better but let me cover this up with dark oak all the way around let me finish off the other side with the things we just did on this side of the house and then we're gonna continue the upstairs all right so everybody be right back with you but before we move on doing the upstairs let's do a little derpy fireplace downstairs and i'm gonna do it here in the main living room all right and i'm gonna do it on this wall which is one two three four and five blocks in total so that means stone bricks there here one here upside down upside down and upside down in the middle very derpy very simple but hey i'm not a professional on doing fireplaces remove that block in the middle put oak wood for the ambience and light it on fire and hopefully i have disabled fire spread because otherwise that's gonna suck monkey balls and by the way if you haven't disabled fire spread just put a torch don't light it on fire because otherwise the house is gonna burn down and you're gonna be sad pandas and so far so good we got wool in the background i love it in the front let's just do something like this and here let's just take it up as a little wannabe chimney going upstairs all right we could also add those here on the sides but that's gonna look kind of semi cool but we need the space because when we have it like this we can always place a flower pot or whatnot in here and that's kind of vital so this seems to work i hope you know burn now all right it kind of seems good nothing has burned down yet so fire spread is disabled and before we move on upstairs let's also just fill in those floorboards here we're gonna use the full blocks of spruce awuda so i'm gonna just save some time do it like here the same goes for this room here bam and we're gonna leave the hallway 
untouched for now, all right? We're also gonna do the same here. Just add those full blocks of chiseled quartz like this. Then we get the bathroom, we get the kitchen, we get the living room. This is pretty. We're gonna light it up later on. Not the, not the house. Just, just, just make lights, I guess, more lights so we have a nicer atmosphere here. Perfect, let's move on upstairs. This time we're gonna start doing the exterior walls first and then continue on the inside. And since we kinda plan out where the window's gonna be, I can be a rebel. So I'm gonna mark you up here and you back here and I'm just gonna cover this up with light grey wool, alright? Like this. And this is one, two, three, four, five and six blocks in height in total. But we know where the window's gonna be because we marked it off before. So let's just carve this out. So one, two, three, four and five in total like this. Here we're gonna place upside down court stairs and up here we're just gonna place them like this. Bam! In between here, of course we're gonna add some window penises. And the same goes for this one. So delete one, two, three, four and five. Upside down court stair here, normal one here and window penises in here. The same goes for this, one, two, three, four, and five. Upside down court stair, normal court stair, and some windows like this. From distance, we should be having this shape going. And the same design goes pretty much for the back. The only difference is we have light gray wool on this side and we have white wool on this side, which means one of the colors has to be longer by one block. And the chosen color is light gray so we have light gray here which goes one block longer than a white one so i'm just gonna mark you up here you down here and everybody behold the magic of world edit and since we marked out where the window is gonna be this is easy mode so demolish one two three four and five same here one two three four and five just like this upside down quarter here and here on the top, we're gonna have them placed normally, on both sides. And since this is gonna be the bathroom upstairs, I don't think anybody's gonna see in, so we can place normal windows here in the bathroom, so we've taken the imaginary dumps. Don't worry, it's the second floor. I don't think anybody's gonna climb up and watch you poo. <laughs> Love it. So this is how it looks. The next step will be to take out this little ring or this little border of upside down quarter all the way alongside the house. You with me? Hopefully you are. Like this. So let me just do this side off camera using white wool. This is how it looks. And I have been to a couple of those houses in the UK and they kind of tend to look quite boring from the back. Is it only me or are they kind of boring from the back? Brits, you guys let me know, all right? But we're gonna have some drainage pipe and to be like a professional Brit, they will be going like this, like a like little bit all over the place because that is how, how they kind of roll over there. That is how I kinda, I've seen them, all right? They would be going something like that. They would be just all over the house, mad here and there and over there. But we're not gonna do that. We're, not, we, we're, gonna, we're gonna make it purdy, okay? We're just gonna make a straight one here in the middle because because that is how piping should be done, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I love it. Here in the bottom, hooper hopper, like that. Perfect. And we're going to do the same pipes here on the side. So let's add one over here on this side, going all the way down. Bam, bam. And let's do the same on this side with a hooper hopper below that as well. Oopsie daisy. There we go. So this is just a normal wall. This should be taking all the rainwater because it usually rains in England like 24-7. So they got a lot of that. <laughs> That's my, that might be the reason why they have so much drainage in the back all over the house. I don't know. You guys let me know. Okay, perfect. So now we got that. We're going to add some more details in the next episode. But let's continue the inside. The first thing we're going to do up here is divide the house. So we know that this wall marks the middle of the house. So take it up all the way up. One, two, three, four, five and six. And take it all the way across to the other side. Just to save time, I'm just going to wall edit this. I'm really sorry for those who hate me for this. But hey, this goes so much quicker on a video. Bam. Then we got this wall. So now we are cut off from the neighboring house like that. And we need to figure out this staircase. We have a staircase going up here 
but we need to save some space and what I'm gonna do is this on this elevation up here we're gonna add one two three full blocks of spruce wood and on the fourth one an upside down stair this means we can go up and down the staircase without hitting our head it's gonna be a tight squeeze but hey we can make this work all right and the rest of the space here we're just gonna add spruce wood all over the place all right so this is how it's gonna be and that means we have our staircase going here perfectly and then we have a little bit of space a little walk path which we can walk around on all right but here in this far end we're gonna have a little wall so this wall is gonna be going all the way up like this ba bam here we're gonna play some anvils so one two three and four just so we meet up with the staircase and now we have a little railing so we won't fall off the thingy otherwise it's gonna hurt and we're gonna break our legs and stuff that's bad mojo here we have a little room and this can be used as a walking wardrobe for this bedroom here a small half bath i would guess would work with just a toilet chair overlooking the neighboring house over there you know what it's, it's hard you guys be the judges i'm gonna have a walking wardrobe here and that means since when we cover this part up with roofing it's gonna be really dark here so i'm gonna carve this out by three blocks like this and place a window since this is gonna be a walking wardrobe nobody's gonna care and it's gonna light some let some light in into this area it's all up to you guys right but now let's continue so we know it's gonna be an entrance here so i'm just gonna do a little derpy entrance and let's rise this wall up by six blocks in total same goes here six blocks in total above the door i'm just gonna place this you know what very simple very minimalistic but i think it works or we can even place the dark oak slab things let me see how that looks though on the third block on the top part bam that works if you want to have a bathroom in here then you have to remove that and maybe place the full one otherwise it's going to look really derpy with the door but hey let's continue so up here we get the middle wall here coming up dividing the ro two rooms which you're going to have we're going to have one room here one here and a family bathroom or half bath and a half bath or a full bath or something it's all up to you right here i'm going to delete that and place a dark oak log same here so that's gonna be our two door entrances and now we can basically take this rise it all the way up here do wool and the same goes for this side from here all the way to the end about here and make that wool so that's covered it up perfectly nice the same will go with the middle wall just to be on the safe side let's count one two three four five and six blocks so now you can count to six bam and white wool purdy we have divided this so that looks pretty amazing above the doors here though i'm gonna use the dark oaks all right here and as well uh oh we got a bathroom dark oak in the flooring and all the way up here turn and entrance bam bam we could also have a little light up here like a little window it's you know what that might be pretty decent by the way that's gonna let even more light into this whole perimeter perfect i'm not gonna have a dome because that's the bedrooms i guess the bedrooms don't have those windows i don't know you guys be the judges but now we got a fair sized bedroom here a fair sized bedroom on this side over here and just to be the cool guy on the block i'm gonna jump down here I'm gonna grab some blocks with using my middle mouse button on the PC. Then we're gonna add our little fireplace as well, all right? But this might be a little bit different. No, let's do the same. I kind of like that design. It's gonna be a little bit tight squeeze with the door, but we can make it work and then just take it up. Delete the middle block here, place a log of your choice just to add to the ambiance. Let me see, where's my lighter at? I was, there we go. The flint is still looks so derp in this, <laughs> like a zippo lighter. Perfect. And we got a fireplace. I don't really like the little entrance here, but you know what? Do we care? Do we mind? Maybe we do. What you guys think? We could do another thing. No, let's keep it. <laughs> Everybody's happy. I'm happy. It works. Kinda. Yeah, it does. We're gonna have a doorway here. 
a doorway here and one to the toilet. What goes for the roofing elevation or the interior ceiling is going to be used spruce wood. And we had full blocks on the bottom part going about here, right? This will be a bit different. We're going to use spruce wood, but we're going to place them on the top part instead. So then we get a little bit of more dimension to the hole. So the spruce wood slabs is going to be going all the way up here. All over the place. So let me do this off camera. The only difference might be in the bathroom where we might use quartz slabs instead because we got the quartz flooring in there. But as I said in the beginning of the video, it's all up to you guys. It's in the eye of the beholder. So if you want to add diamond roofing, gold roofing, you're more than welcome to, right? So up here, just, just on the window block here, but on the upper part of it. And bam. Perfect. And the thing is, as soon as we add this here, I think this is going to turn really dark. So I think the windows will do some, but I'm using the shaders mod. So this is kind of like a semi-realistic lighting and it's kind of hard. You see, we kind of get some lighting from that room here and that room. So it's not as dark as you would might think. I like this. Let's me, let me mirror this to the other side as well. And it's done done. Well, not really done done, but hey, I didn't mirror this side to that side and everybody's happy. I've been thinking, by the way, if you guys are worried that somebody's gonna spy when you poop, we can maybe just add one of those stained window penis just on the bottom here. And now you're safe. <laughs> Everybody happy? Happy. And also, everybody, I'm recording this house in one session, one go. So I have no idea what you guys think about this house so far. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Let's just fill in this space. But usually when I do something, you guys are just awesome with the support. So thank you so much for being so freaking awesome. Did I just press that wrong? Yes, I did. You didn't even tell me. Oh, there we go. It's going to be down here. And I did some... I did a little furnishing on the inside. Like, not nothing big. Just, just, just four bits just so we see how it looks let me just jump down here place you and oh now it's dark and scary but still we still get some light i guess you know what here is a little bit it's nothing special it kind of looks semi derpish let me just place some buttons here on this side on this side but just to get the feel for the place and i have to say it doesn't look bad I mean, you can add more rooms upstairs because those two bedrooms which we got, this one and this one, they're fairly big for us uh, a house like this. You could cut them down and make two bedrooms out of one. So we have three rooms in total plus the bathroom. So yeah, you could do that. But I like the space on this. So this might be a walking wardrobe or bathroom, by the way. Look at this. It's this bay window as well spying on neighbors but i like it and the same is on this side. let me just knock a hole, hole to the neighbor how convenient and the same is on this side we got this little bedroom here with the lamps and a bed and the same on this side over here so i think this will have to do for this episode hopefully you guys enjoy but uh, i'm gonna see you everybody in the next one so don't forget if you did enjoy this if you find this useful inspirational whatnot let me know i think we're gonna have at least one more episode on this where we're gonna do the exterior and finalize the roofing and we're gonna be done 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 oh baby let me just do time said 3k no 1k sunrise oh baby that looks majestic oh we need to add some bushes here but that's gonna be done in later stage i guess in next episode guys hit the like button if you did enjoy it means the world to me love you to bits potato hard and bye bye